So I found a wooden shoe in my toilet today. It was clogged. Mm -hmm. Just like a clogged shoe. I don't know. I thought that was funny. Looks like an air warm or something. Jelly. Oh yeah, definitely jelly actually. That last one on the A-frame was 3.2, it looks like. You pulling that off of a uh, Grafana? Yeah, the A-frame heave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, um, that was a anomaly. Um, they're, they're more. Oh, yeah, I can down. see, yeah. The other ones are nowhere near it. Yeah. Rogue wave. <laughs> so fun. Trying to throw us off. We're at about 300 meters now. Once we get around <laughs> 100 meters or 50 meters, we will be uh, ending our SPL chat and turning off questions as we turn it over to the ROV team to communicate and ascend the ROVs. So if you have any questions in between now and then, feel free to put them in the chat and we'll be here to answer them. Does it look like TJ has plenty of helpers? So to say, I've learned. I have went through my training. <laughs> I'm not sure. I see three other ones.
So I got another joke to pass the time. We could slide one in real quick. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Mm, something slipping? I don't know. He wasn't peeling good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man. That also reminds me of another cartoon. Um, Gumball with um, Banana Joe, and he always like <laughs> have his uh, banana peel taken off for some reason. Okay, so. never watched that one. It's good. Yeah, I've always heard, but. So here's a question maybe for some of our scientists: As a scientific community, do we ever have to be careful when traveling to destinations? when it comes to saying collecting non-regulated samples or species or watching out for poachers? Um, poachers? Um. Well, there are regulations on certain yeah. the coral species, the CITES. Um, mm -hmm. I forget what CITES stands for, but um, yeah. black corals, for instance, I think are in that category. You're not allowed to um, travel with them or take them away from their um, collection area I guess yeah it all depends on where you are too so like the monument has different regulations from the EEZ and then areas outside EEZs have different regulations too um, but yeah generally we do need to be aware of them of course we always try to be conservative with our sampling we always try to take what we've been seeing a lot of um, if it's something that we haven't seen before it's and we take it, that's just because it's something we haven't seen before and something we need to learn more about. But generally, we try to be very sustainable and ethical about our sampling um, to respect the seafloor and the, um, I guess, stewardship and indigenous peoples that have taken care of these areas in history. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's all about respect. Yep, and the law. Mm -hmm. And say, for example, like when it comes to fishing, like you can, I believe you can do so within the EEZ of the um, U.S., but if it's within the monument, it's restricted, I believe. And the proposed national sanctuary, um, it wouldn't necessarily mean any more protections, like it doesn't automatically come with more protections, I believe, but it's it's another way to... Um, it's another layer of protections. Yes, it's, it's navigating more protections and bringing channels to the people who, um, you know, to the people who take care of these waters. And it's better than just having it be, yeah, not designated, I guess. But yep, the whole the whole world of marine policy is very can be very convoluted. But um, overall, it's very good to learn more about it and something that I want to learn more about. Mm -hmm. Something I'm not completely well, not as familiar as I'd like to be with marine policy. But um, as someone who's interested in conservation, something I want to learn more about. been a good uh, site for uh, learning about the rules and regulations of collecting deep sea fauna for scientific research. You can see the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wildlife Fauna and Flora. Thank you for whoever posted that in chat. Nice. And they also say, luckily, the beaked whale skulls are considered a fossil. Otherwise, it would be pretty a pretty big headache to collect with all the regulations involving marine mammals. Yeah. So I guess it also makes sense. Yeah, we wouldn't collect it if it wasn't encrusted, a.k.a. fossilized. It would be really cool to see 
a newer bone being eaten by worms, ocidax, or, you know, scavenged. But haven't come across that. Not sure if it's likely. Ooh. A jelly. <laughs> Ten minutes. Ten minutes from the surface. <laughs> so we are about 170 meters to the ocean surface, and at about 100 meters, we will have the team down here working with the deck chief and bridge to recover the vehicles. And around that time, we'll be wrapping up our Q&A as their operational dialogue starts for recovery. So if you have last minute questions or even jokes, uh, put them in the chat. We'll be here to answer. Ooh. For those of, you, those of you who are looking to see us again d uh, down the water, our next dive will be 12 a.m. Hawaii time. It'll be an eight hour dive. Woohoo! Wow, that's Ooh. a big long saphonophore. Long wow. saphonophore. And it's gone. <laughs> but they can get really long. I think uh, like 20 meters. And siphonophores are colonies of a bunch of different, well, not different, a bunch of. Um, what are they called? Siphons? Individuals. Yeah. <laughs> so, one big long chain. So we have a question here. Does anyone on board play any musical instruments? Um, Adam brought his ukulele. <laughs> Aside from that, I don't know. Um, I used to play the violin. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's awesome. I always wanted to learn like piano, but I never got lessons. Yeah, I used to uh, know how to play piano when I was little. I took lessons. I need to get back into it, but I was in marching band throughout middle and high school, and I played the trumpet. Mm -hmm. It was fun. I was also in a jazz band, too. That was also really fun. Yeah, so now we're in the photic zone for sure, which is 200 meters and above. Um, and you can kind of see how it's getting brighter. It's a lot more marine snow, a lot more organisms up here. Don't know where the oxygen minimum zone was because I can't 
quite see it on our thing. Oh, looks like it was at about... Uh -huh. <laughs> I can tell you how many minutes ago it was. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> It was falling uh, steadily yeah. for a while. Yep, was, and then it shot back up. Yep. So I'm just, yeah, we're just looking at the um, the so time, portal that collects time series. Yeah. yeah, the portal, the portal that collects a time series of environmental factors, and basically there's um, there's a zone where um, it's called the oxygen minimum zone, and um, it's basically where oxygen is like zero, zero and then once you get out of it, on the button I think waiting. it's usually <laughs> like something like 400 to 200 meters. Yeah. But once you get out of it, then it's like back to normal. Yeah. Salinity really yeah. dropped at that same yeah? point, too. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, point, yeah, yeah, yeah. Point two. All the way. Mm -hmm. And. All right, tilts off. Right, so we are about 75 meters to the ocean surface, and this time we'll be wrapping up our Q&A and turning over to our ROV team to recover the vehicles. So we thank you all for joining us, and we hope to see you all later on our next dive. All right, and I'm gonna go in a minute to go start samples. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. And one last bit, if you are interested in seeing us process our samples, we'll also have that on our live stream as well. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, coming to fifty meters almost. There we go. I'm done. Control van. Check. We are all stop on the winch at 50 meters, and the ship is moving ahead at 0.3 knots. Copy that. I'll stop at 50 meters. Control van, Dick. Go ahead. Yeah, is Hercules positioned uh, in between the goal posts? Uh, Hercules is good. good Deb. Uh, Ooh, fishies. Oh, that was fast. Maybe Samantha? I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Coming up. There we go. <coughs> Nautilus Bridge, Nautilus Deck. This is recovering Atlanta and her permission to bring both vehicles on board. 
Charlie to recover. Shark in the still can. All stations, circuit or uh, Atlanta, at one five meters. Eyes on it. Copy. Shutting off the lights. Blind. Deck control van. Control van, go ahead. Kirk is a little off to the port side, but still behind the transom. Copy that. You wonder if they follow the ship around or if they uh, are just everywhere. I hope they're everywhere. We. Oh, she's tipsy. Whoa. Tug it in.
all stations, uh, Herc is secure to the crane, uh, proceeding to recover. Okay, copy. All stations are clear to transit. Roger. All stations, that's her midship, coming up to the crane. Good copy. Coming out of the water. Roger. Control vans. Nice job, guys. Thank you. The power is secured. Yeah, power is secured.